Given the fact we now have a new president that, uh, you know, we have Joe Biden as the president, is that looking optimistic on that front as well? So I think I think it's it, I, I think that Israel um, uh, has a deep and uh, very wide relationship with the United States, both with Democrats and Republicans. However, and I think the military relationship is very good. However, I think that yes, the government of Israel uh, has some work uh, cut out for him. Um, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu has been very closely associated with with President Trump. Has made no bones of the fact that he wanted that he enjoyed working with Trump and that he wanted Trump to be reelected. Uh, so I think that you know we have some work uh, cut out for us in in trying to show that we know how to be bipartisan. It's a muscle that we haven't that uh, un, uh, our bipartisan muscle atrophied under Obama, and certainly atrophied even more under, under Trump. And I think we need to work. It's going to be it's a, a significant challenge to make sure that we still manage to have a, a good relationship and, and a, you know, a robust and, and visibly positive relationship uh, with the White House and with the United States. It's, it's not impossible. It, it's, it's, it's something that we certainly can do, but we're going to have to put some effort into it. In other words, I think there's things that the Netanyahu government probably took for granted under the Trump administration that it, it can't no longer do so under a Biden one. Is that the way you would frame it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. But also, but also, you know, Biden and especially the other Democrats are coming in knowing that Netanyahu um, was not particularly um, helpful uh, or friendly under Obama and has been one of Trump's closest international allies. 